Hi there. This is Joe Wiles with the Rock and Roll Conservatory for HowToPlayAnySong.com. In today's lesson, we're going to tackle Paramore's The Only Exception because it's such a great song from a band that had been previously known for their darker, heavier approach to rock and roll. This is the song that kind of broke them into mainstream success. And it's such an easy, campfire-style, repetitive chord progression. It's a great song to learn if you want to impress some friends. We're going to learn an adapted version of the chords so we don't have to fuss with capos or alternate tunings. So let's get started. The song uses a really simple B major to F sharp minor to E major chord progression, but we're going to learn some variations on those chords to separate the verse and the chorus. To start off, we're going to put our index finger on the 7th fret of the low E string. Then our ring finger is going to go on the 9th fret of the A, our pinky on the 9th fret of the D, and our middle finger on the 8th fret of the G. We're going to leave the B in the high E string open. This is what that B major sounds like. Then we're going to move this chord form, keeping it kind of the same, we're going to move it up a string. And then up two frets. Like that. Now our index finger is on the 9th fret of the A, our ring finger is on the 11th fret of the D, our pinky is on the 11th fret of the G, and our middle finger is on the 10th fret of the B, and our high E string is still open. We're going to not play the low E string. Either mute it out with your thumb, or barely touch it with this finger so it doesn't ring out. And this is what that F sharp minor sounds like. There you go. And then in the verse, we're going to use a E major 7. We're going to slide this down just a bit. Take, put our index finger on the 7th fret of the A. Our ring finger is going to be on the 9th fret of the D. Our middle finger is going to be on the 8th fret of the G. And then our pinky is going to be on the 9th fret of the B. And we're also still going to leave our high E string open. And we can strum our low E string in this one too. So, these three chords sound like this. And this is what they sound like in context. And we repeat that through the whole verse. Thanks for hanging out. Now, you only learned one part of this song. If you want to learn the rest of it, head over to our website at howtoplayanysong.com. You can request songs there. Also, join us on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Thanks a lot.